Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. Also, likewise, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day. That is our uh, feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And also, uh, Shalom to the whole elect as well. That's uh, continually doing this work and um, and performing in this in this work and spreading this this gospel to the members of the whole elect and faith and truth and sincerity and all charity and also uh, you know shalom to the uh, sincere Akim and um, the few sisters that are watching you know that tune into the lessons. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna be a um, a uh, response video. And also a, uh, you know, a uh, a word of caution concerning the uh, Israelite camp by the name of uh, IUIC, okay, in which, you know, starting with the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and the rest of the brothers, you know, we, we've done countless videos uh, concerning IUIC and, you know, revealing that IUIC is not right, man, you know, and it's not because of you know out of out of envy or you know anything like that or you know because we have we we feel some type of way or you know we have a personal hatred towards uh, the ones who are part of IUIC you know we the reason why we get on them so much is because they're not they're not going according to what we have been taught according to the scriptures all right which was through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yonshai, which the uh, apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, you know, they continued in the uh, the spirit of uh, teaching and edifying, man. Okay. And if you if you're a man of the Lord and you observe in the spirit according to what is being taught according to the doctrine in which is spoken of within the scriptures, all right? You know, the, the Bible tells you what type of mentality and the type of spirit that you should be in, okay? And if you look at past accounts on uh, the different captivities in which uh, Israel was involved in, you know, we were taking, we were taking into captivity under different nations. You know, it was a certain it was a certain uh, mentality of being under the protection of Yahweh Bashim Shai and also to stay under constant watch. Okay, because we were under subjection under our enemies and into our into this very day. You know, we're under subjection unto our enemies. Okay, in which the ones who are in rulership today is uh Edom, all right, which Edom is a true biblical nationality of the so called white man. All right. So since we, we know this, you know, the mentality that we should be having is to leave this place. OK. And also in the process of that, you know, by doing that, really, we're returning to our Lord. Yahweh Shai, Because we fell away at one point. OK. And since we fell away, now we're coming back into our remembrance and knowing who our power is, man. And also acknowledging what we did was wrong. Okay. Acknowledging our offenses, acknowledging our uh, transgressions, and coming back to the Lord with a humble and meek spirit. Okay. Because first you have to accept, you have to truly accept that, you know, we're, we're in these bodies and we're, we're going to uh, continue to go off, man. We don't want to go off, but we're going to continue to go off, man. All right. And that's why, you know, especially us here at Great Millstone, man, we understand. That, you know, the life that we live today, man, it's nothing to be celebrated, okay? It's nothing to party or to uh, have some sort of celebration about or to fla flaunt yourself like IUIC does, man, all right? Because we're redeeming the times, man. We understand the situation that we're in, man. And that's a part of it. A part of being in the truth is knowing what time it is, okay? And what situation that, that you're involved in, okay? And the situation that you're in right now is calling for us to be in the spirit of edifying okay and um remaining in a, in a humble spirit man all right 
And a part of being uh, remaining, of being, uh, of being in a humble spirit is what? Doing the work. Okay. Actually giving, giving your time and your energy over to the flock. All right. Knowing you yourself is also a servant. Okay. So the display that they put on, man, you know, it's not edifying. Okay. The only thing that they, what, these, these guys are at the surface level. Okay. They'll tell you about your nationality, which is all in good, but when it comes to uh, really going into the uh, scriptures itself and knowing the times and actually warning the people about the times, they have no knowledge of that. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the precepts I have here. I'm gonna try to make this quick. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter seven, verse two. It said, "It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting." For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay into his heart. Okay? So it's better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. Okay? Because the, and, and IUIC is in the house of feasting right now. This is why they had the Feast of Tabernacles, which is, is a righteous thing to have the Feast of Tabernacles. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. The scriptures tell you, to, um, you know, that, that, you know, the scriptures tell you that uh, you're supposed to do that, you know, because that. Uh, I believe in the scripture says three times out of a year you're supposed to present yourself before the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai. I do know chapter 16, verse 16 uh, tells you that. You know nothing wrong with that, but the thing is, is that you know we're we're not here to party, man. All right, even with the feast of tabernacles, there's a certain spirit that comes with that. Okay. Also, the Passover. We got into countless times about the Passover. That the Passover is not a lamb dinner. It's not a, a, a feast, a, you know, a, a feast dinner and, you know, to get together and party, man. Okay. There's a certain spirit that comes behind the Feast of Tabernacles. Also, uh, um, <clears throat> the Feast of Dedication. All right. Also, what the people call as a Hanukkah. All right. <clears throat> that also comes with, a, with a, 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 a certain type of spirit with that. Okay. So, IUIC, you know, as far as uh, posting the video, you know, out to the public, and the Apostle Elder Gabar went into it, man. Is that, look, you posting a video like this, what, how is that edifying? All right, who, who is that edifying? How is that edifying? Did any scriptures come out? Nope. Did any precepts come out? Any uh, breakdowns come out? Nope. All right, did uh, any admonitions or, or exhortations or uh, anything come out? Come out of that? Nope. So what was the point of even posting that in the first place, man? All right. So again, it says better to go into the house of mourning than to go in the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. It says sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the continents, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. See? So the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, man. Okay? And, and we're in the house of mourning. All right? Look at our nation, man. Our nation is downtrodden. It's, uh, we're, we're going through hell right now, man. Okay? So there's nothing to be in, in, in a mirthful spirit about, man. Okay, so again, it says uh, the heart of the wise in the house of mourning. If you're a wise man, then a, a wise man will redeem the times and know where he, what, what position that he's in and what na what, what the um, what condition his nation is in. If the, if the nation is is in a low condition, then of course the heart of the wise is going to be in the house of mourning. But fools are not going to regard that. And guess where their where their heart is going to be? It's going to be in the house of mirth. All right. Uh, more from there we'll grab the next precept Joel chapter 2 verse 12 it says uh, therefore I also know saith the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai uh, turn ye even to me with all your heart which uh, the word heart means uh, your mind right and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning see and that's how we're supposed to return with fasting weeping and mourning okay so yeah we're supposed to be fasting supposed to be mourning supposed to be weeping okay and a part of us doing that is uh, not partaking in, you know, festivities. Now, again, the Feast of Tabernacles, you know, that's, that's you know, that's a part in the scriptures that we're supposed to have, you know. That's that's one of the high holy days, okay. But for us to continue to push that vibration out towards the lost sheep of the house of Israel, towards the ones who actually need, uh, actually need to be edified and built up in the spirit, it's not building anybody when they do that, man, Okay. Verse 13, it says, And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord, ye how about Shemuel Shah, your power. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. See that? I 
else. I'm going to grab one last precept. I'm going to close it on now. <clears throat> so this is, you know, I brought this out before, um, but I'm going to bring it out again just for edification's sake. Um, the scripture here, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, this is at verse uh, 26, right? It says, how is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have the psalm, have the doctrine, have the tongue, have the revelation, have an interpretation. Now, somebody that read this and say, well, see, well, why can't y'all come together? Uh, why, why can't you and the rest of these other camps come together and, since you all have a different doctrine? No, it's not what the scripture is talking about. It's talking about each and every single brother brings something different to the table. Okay. Each brother have a psalm. You know, each brother is able to, to break down the scriptures. All right. Each brother will have his own examples to go into. He has his own revelations. The certain things are revealed to certain brothers. Okay, but everything is the same. It's the same doctrine because even the scriptures tell you that um that we are supposed to be of one mind. All right, and the same person that wrote this letter, the Apostle Paul, wrote about that. He said we're supposed to be of one mind and one doctrine. Okay. Now this is the point. It says let all things be done unto edifying. Okay, so everything that we do when we post post any information. Or anything of that nature is supposed to be unto edifying. That's why every single video that, that the brothers put up from the Great Millstone is edifying, man. Okay? No matter if it's a rebuke or a reproof, exhortation, anything like that. Okay? It's edifying, man. Okay? And best believe the scripture is going to come out. Okay? And understand it's going to be uh, uplifted. All right? So with that, I'm going to close out on that. Uh, Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, once again, I want to give all praise on it and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Hakodash. Uh, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and will. Uh, and much do honors to you, um, to you members of the whole elect, and also you sincere brothers that, that are tuning in, also the few sisters that believe. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.